Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be installing a lightweight operating system called Lubuntu. I have another video how to create a bootable USB meter so you can run this Lubuntu on any computer. But if you would like to install it permanently on your computer, this is going to be a video for you. If you want to check out my other video, I'm going to put a link in the description and one in the upper right corner, so check it out. But in this video, we're going to quickly go and install it on our computer. This is going to be on one of my old laptops. Let's get started. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and give this video a like if you find this helpful. All right, let's get started. All right, so once we have our USB stick ready, just go ahead and plug it into the USB port. I recommend using the USB 2.0 port. This will eliminate any issues that might arise from the USB 3.0 or later versions of USB ports. Then go ahead and start your computer or your laptop. Once it's started, press F2 or other key to get into the BIOS. Once we get to the BIOS, we need to go to the boot section. As you can see, this is a very old computer. It's build date from 2009. So it is a very slow machine. It has a very old CPU and only two gigabyte of RAM. So it cannot run any modern computer software. Okay, we gotta go to the boot section, then go to the hard disk drives. You gotta select the first drive to be the your USB stick, then go to the boot device priority. For the first boot device, you gotta put the USB, the removable device, and then press F10. It's gonna save all the settings and it's gonna restart the computer. Then on the next screen, we gotta choose install Lubuntu. This will start the installation process so we can install it permanently on our laptop or our computer. So the first thing you gotta do, you just gotta choose the language. I'm just gonna choose English. Then you gotta choose the country and territory. You can detect the keyboard layout automatically or you can choose it from the list. I'm just gonna choose it from the list. I choose the English keyboard. You can choose the keyboard that you need and then just press enter. It's going to start loading additional components. Then it will start detecting network hardware and you need to choose the internet connection. As you can see, I got two different internet connections. I have one by the ethernet cable and I have one by the wireless connection. So I'm just going to choose the ethernet cable because then it will work way faster and it will eliminate any issues related to the Wi-Fi not working or the Wi-Fi driver not being installed correctly. Usually, if you run through the Ethernet cable, you will not have those issues. Then we just got to give a host name to this computer. The host name is going to be the name that's going to identify your system to the network. So you can choose it anything you like. Then it also asks you to put the full name for the new user. Well, I'm just going to put Acer EEE PC. You can either put your full name or you can put whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. Then you just got to choose the password for the new user. Then go ahead and re-enter your password again. Then press continue. It tells me that the password is too weak, but that's okay. You can choose a different password. But in this case, I'm okay with this password. Just press continue. And by the way, if your mouse doesn't work, how you can press all these buttons, you just use tab button and then press enter. Then it asks you to confirm your location once again. So just press enter if that's the correct location. Then on the next step, you get to choose to unmount partitions that are in use. So just choose yes and press continue. Then it gives you another warning saying that your installation medium is on this partition. You will not be able to create, delete, or resize partitions. So just go ahead and press continue. Then on the next step, we can choose either guided or manual installation method. And also the partitioning method, you can either use the entire disk or you can resize the disk and only get some certain amount of disk space for the operating system. But we're gonna go with the most simple way guided entire disk this will help us install this operating system on the whole disk and it will guide us through the whole process so use entire disk you just got to choose the disk to partition and this is going to be the only ssd drive that is on this computer this is 128 gigabyte ssd drive and after you press continue it will warn you that all the data from this disk will be erased so make sure that you copy all important files and all important data from that disk Otherwise, it will be fully formatted and you will lose all that information. So make sure to do that before you press yes. If you're sure that it's ready to go and there's no important information on this disk, go ahead and choose yes and press enter. It will start the installation process and depending how fast your computer is, it might take somewhere from five minutes to half an hour. Like on this very old laptop, it's probably going to take me like half an hour to get it finished. 
But anyway, I'm just going to fast forward it so you don't have to wait for very long. And I'm going to see when the installation is going to be finished. All right, half an hour later, the installation is almost complete. It's going to start installing the GRUB bootloader. And it tells you that since this is the only operating system on this computer, it is safe to install the GRUB bootloader to the master boot record on the first hard disk. So we just got to choose yes and press enter. Then you got to choose the device where you want to install this bootloader. Since this is the only hard drive that we have, we got to choose this 128 gigabyte SSD drive. You got to choose the drive where you have installed your Lubuntu on. After that, it's going to start installing GRUB bootloader. Then it's going to tell you if you want to set up your system clock to the UTC, which is a universal time, just choose yes and press enter. There we go. So the installation is complete. Go ahead and remove the USB stick from the USB port and press continue. It's going to restart your system and it will start loading from your computer. So it's not going to be loading from the USB stick anymore. If you're not going to remove the USB stick, it will start loading from the USB stick. But when you remove it, it's going to start loading from the computer hard drive or SSD drive. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Here we go. Beautiful. So Lubuntu is starting. And it looks promising. Of course, this is a very slow computer, so this is why it's taking so long. But if you have a faster machine, it will work faster. But this is the whole point of this video. If you have a very old machine that you cannot run any modern operating system on, then you can try this Lubuntu because it's lightweight and doesn't require as much hardware resources. Go ahead and enter your password and press login. There you have it, guys. This is how it looks. I like the background of this Lubuntu as well. As you can see, it kind of matches my channel as well. You got a nice space background. I really like that everything's working. It even sees my Bluetooth. It sees my battery. As you can see, internet is connected. Everything's working. Beautiful. So now Lubuntu is on this laptop and it's probably going to stay here for the rest of its life because I don't think it will be able to handle anything else. There we go. As you can see, everything's working and it even tells us there is an update available. So if you would like to update Lubuntu, you can click yes, upgrade now or you can choose to do it later. As you can see, it's connected to the network via wired connection. So let's go ahead and check out what comes per bundle with this Lubuntu. All right. So as you can see from accessories, we got the archive manager, character map, disk, file manager, calculator, image viewer. From graphics, we got document viewer, which is PDF viewer. We got internet, Firefox browser. We got internet messenger. And keep in mind, you can install other software as well. All you have to do is just go to the system tools and go to software. And then you can choose other software that you need to install. And since Lubuntu is a lightweight Ubuntu version, it's based on the Ubuntu Linux. This means it's going to have a lot of software available. So this is really great. So if you need to use this computer for some minimal stuff, it will be really great. As you can see, there are a few different desktops available. You can switch between different desktops pretty easy. You can go ahead and install updates if you like. All right, guys, this is it. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support it with the like. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful videos. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down in the comment section below. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.